What's up everybody, it's your boy C. Sims and this is That Comic Talk. So, Josh Brolin has been a very important character these last couple of months. He played Thanos in Infinity War and he played Cable in Deadpool 2. This actor has a lot of range. He's able to range from the Mad Titan to the Cybertronic a half bionic man from the future. But there was something that I noticed between the two characters. There is a similar story that's being told by Josh Brolin between Thanos and Cable. So today, that's exactly what we're going to take a look at. I'm not sure if anybody else noticed it, but you know here at the comic show, we definitely noticed that. So we're going to talk about the three things that we actually saw between the two characters, Thanos and Cable. And make sure that you pay attention because we're definitely dropping into some spoiler territory. Number one, both of these characters had valid reasons to do what they had to do. Thanos thought that by balancing the entire universe, he was going to save the entire universe. He has tried it with different planets and he has some type of strategy as to why he's doing this. I mean, if you think about it, his logic is very sound. You do experiments, you try those experiments, you take down the results, you continue those experiments to see if the results stay the same. He told this to Gamora. When he talked about Gamora's planet, how he killed half of the population and now it's a paradise, he figured by getting the Infinity Stones and snapping that finger, he will be able to fix and solve all the problems of the universe. See, so in a way, his logic was pretty much sound. And it seemed like he was doing the right thing. Even though what he was about to do was very heinous and very genocidal, he was going to save everybody left in the universe. Very logic. So now, we look at Cable. Now Cable, actually has the same type of predicament. He's trying to save his family. He gets there late when his family gets torn up and burned up by Fire Fist, the kid that we see in Deadpool. So as a result, he says he has to go back in time and stop this kid from killing the first individual that he actually kills, which was the headmaster at the orphanage he was in. He figured if he goes and stops this kid from killing, he won't become a maniac in the future and he won't destroy everything in the future. Pretty logical sound. Go back in time, stop whatever happens, save your family. The two characters have logical reasons to do what they had to do in this movie. And it seemed as though that even though we had heroes that tried to stop this, Deadpool tried to stop Cable, the Avengers tried to stop Thanos, at the end of it, they still was able to maintain their logic, maintain their composure, and solve the issues that they looked to solve. At the end of the story in Deadpool 2, Cable's family is safe. At the end of Infinity War, Thanos snapped his finger and fixed the entire universe, at least in his mind. The two of them had logical explanations and a logical outcome to their reasoning. We got no fear, no doubt, Number two, Thanos and Cable went to the past to fix the issues that they had in the present. Let's start off with Cable. Cable goes back in time and actually resolves the issue that he fell into at the end of Deadpool. Deadpool takes the shot, he puts the collar around his neck, and he dies. Deadpool dies at the end of Deadpool. But what Cable decided to do is because of the fact of Deadpool dying, Fire Fist actually stopped himself, or the name is Russell, his name is Russell. He actually stopped himself from becoming a maniac because of the fact that Deadpool saved him, killed himself in the process, sacrificed himself. So Cable said to himself, well, you know what? How about I do this? I'll go back in time, get that little coin that I took from Deadpool earlier, which is lead base, put it on his chest, aim for that chest, and make it seem like he sacrificed. Everything played out the same way. The only difference is Cable saved Deadpool. He had to go back in time just for a little bit in order to do that and save everybody in the process. Now, let's look at Thanos. During the time Thanos enters the Earth, he's trying to get through all the Avengers and he finally gets to Vision. Before he gets his hands on Vision, once she destroyed the Mind Stone, that was it. No more Vision. But Thanos was able to look at the situation and say, well, you know, there's no time to grieve. In fact, there's no time at all. Destroy the Mind Stone. He turns on the Time Stone, reverses time, goes back in time to the point where Vision is right there. 
and he grabs Vision and pulls the stone out of his head. You see the two characters, Cable and Thanos, goes back in time, a little bit back in time, in order to correct the things in the present. At the present time, Thanos was able to get all six stones, and Cable was able to save Deadpool and also fix the issues with Russell. Did you catch that? We got no fear, no doubt, balls out. Number three. They both became satisfied fathers. This movie is showing the story of two fathers, Cable and Thanos. Thanos is a surrogate father for Gamora. He ends up killing Gamora in order to obtain the Soul Stone. By doing this, he had no choice but to complete his mission. He snapped his fingers and wiped out half of the universe. At the end of the movie, he sits down and he looks at a sunset. He's able to rest now. He's able to relax. He has done his job. He has maintained his composure and he has satisfied his whole being of being there, which was to destroy half of the universe in order to save the rest of the universe. By him doing that, he was a satisfied father looking out into the sunset. Cable, he ended up doing the same thing. By saving Deadpool, he was able to save his family. By looking at the teddy bear that was filled with his daughter and his wife's blood, he saw that the teddy bear was clean. Therefore, the two of them were safe in the future. He was able to end the movie as a satisfied father, even though he may never see his daughter and wife again because now he's stuck in the past, just like Thanos. He will never be able to see his favorite daughter Gamora because she's dead. The two father figures were able to be satisfied at the end of this movie. Job well done, their mission was accomplished. And that was it. Those were the three things that we caught in comparison to the two characters, Thanos and Cable. If you saw any more, please drop a note below. Like, share, and subscribe. Definitely click that notification so you can know when we drop new stuff. Also, check us out on social media. We're all over the place. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it, we're there. Once again, this is That Comic Talk. This was your boy Sam's. Zam's out. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button so you can know when we drop new stuff. 